The Defi Wind is a race in the south of France in Grousseau, where 1,400 people are battling the Tramontana, doing the most amazing long distance race in the world. But this race is not only for professionals, this race is for everybody. I'm Jordi Funk, IFCA World Champion, PWA Podium Finisher and Professional Windsurfer since quite a couple years. Together with Surf Center, I've set up the Defi Wind Experience. We believe knowing all ins and outs before you arrive on the spot and being there with the group gives a huge advantage to reach your goal, whatever that might be. This year we had 18 people joining us coming from all over Europe. We kicked off the experience with a theory evening in Stone Dam. So tonight we kicked off the Defi Wind experience. Uh, very cool to see the group. Uh, I'm feeling the enthusiasm. It makes me enthusiastic and I really look forward uh, to the Defi Wind and do this with, uh, with the whole group. My name is Marijn Kegel. I'm a father of two kids, windsurfer for about 35 years. Picked it up for, I don't know, two, three years ago. And uh, super stoked again. So my name is Max. Uh, yeah, I started windsurfing uh, two and a half years ago. Uh, did a few clinics with Jordi, and uh, this year I decided to, to give it a try to for the Defi first time. So I'm gonna go and compete, or at least try to make a race. I did a, a windsurf clinic with Jordi in January in Tenerife in El Medano, and it was so freaking awesome. I learned a lot. And I improved a lot. Uh, I also uh, have uh, uh, windsurfing friends who recommended uh, to join Experience because they were joining uh, previous year. Uh, so when I learned about that this year the Experience is repeating, I, I didn't have any doubts. I just signed up first, <laughs> almost. It was like a no-brainer. When they got, got with the offer, it was like, okay, you're sure, of course I'm going. It will save me so much trouble finding stuff out. So tonight uh, with Jordi was actually awesome. I learned a lot. So what are you going to do in the coming months? Windsurfing, man. Windsurfing. A lot of windsurfing. Good morning. It's another great Saturday. The sun is shining. It's a little bit colder. Wind is from the north. So we're preparing to, uh, for windsurf session. Uh, it's going to be with uh, Max and Steven on the Gause this time. So. Uh, Gonna be a great spot. It's like Steven, Max, and Marijn are doing Hause today, and there's even more people. I mean, it's kind of busy. The parking lot, like, this is filled up, so we're already filling up the parking lot, like, in the back, but uh, we're gonna be totally fine today. Gonna be windy, windy, windy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what is that, Max? What are you mm. having, man? <laughs> you feel the power? Ah, yes, I do. <laughs> Now we're uh, basically getting uh, prepared, everybody knows the tactics, everything what's coming up. Uh, now it's time to get into action in Grusson. See you in France. Take me home, take me on a ride. I got a good feeling about the colors lighting up your eyes. Take me home, take me to the sky. I got a good feeling, tell me the only On Tuesday, two days before the event was starting, we started the first clinic day on site and we really had some proper conditions. With wind gusting up to 45 knots, it was really great, great conditions to train for the first time. Looking forward to today, Mariah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Gonna kill it. <laughs>
my name is Eric. I'm uh, from Holland. Uh, I'm living uh, in Delft and I'm doing windsurfing all, uh, almost my whole life. And uh, today I started with uh, the Deffy experience of uh, Jordi Vonk and Surf Center. It was awesome. That was amazing. It was, uh, it was uh, really good in the beginning, between like 10 and 11, and then it got cranking like fuck. <laughs> it was nuking out there, it was crazy. It's pretty challenging. I never uh, experienced uh, such winch speed and it's uh, it's hammering like that <laughs> maybe you can hear it so the wind is super strong now and we want to save some energy so uh, in the afternoon we will go do some trimming get prepared uh, uh, for tomorrow tomorrow looks a bit lighter so a bit of tuning and then tomorrow uh, day two with uh, some action and preparation on the water you know, I'm doing this for experience, but it's more a kind of adventure. So you have to do it and just uh, push your boundaries, but feel comfortable. That's, that's the, the thing. In the afternoon, we had a program on the beach. First, we were visited by multiple Deffy Wind winner, Pierre Mortefon. <laughs> followed by a walk on the event area to check out some of the important stuff. Also, we had a look at the whole competition area to see show already some ins and outs from the beach. We checked the check-in portals and maybe most important, we were tuning the gear from the competitors where they wanted to, to make sure that they were ready for the next session on the water. All of this obviously with Tenzing, who's keeping us energized during the whole event. The second day from the clinic on site really showed some proper wins again. But we could see everybody was getting already more comfortable after hitting the water the day before. During this day we decided to do a whole heavy wind leg of 10 kilometers together. Stopping in the middle, having a look and really get a first feel on how the conditions on the course will look like. And after that morning session really felt like everybody was ready for the race to start and to save some energy as there was a really good forecast we decided not to go on the water in the afternoon instead we had a VIP registration with a nice beer and before entering we had some proper advice from the man with most world titles Jorn Dunkerbeck and keep in mind that it's uh, 9 kilometers in one direction and the wind is getting stronger and stronger on the other side so choose the right equipment pace yourself and
you! I got you, motherfucker! I got you, motherfucker! Oh. <laughs> On the finish line, damn me, this! The half bomb! Let's get it! The first three just killed me, man. During the Defi wind, we had three out of four days wind, which is absolutely a good score. A total of four races has been held, and out of our 18 participants, everybody managed to finish a race, which obviously makes the coach proud. To close off this amazing week, we had a nice dinner together on a Saturday evening, followed by a proper party. We couldn't wish for a better ending with this great group of people.